second one. Um, Donovan, what did you see from Lamar tonight, especially just on both ends of the floor, the rebounds, the three, or just the way that he helped play? Uh, um, just the one that just won us the game. You know, I think ever since I've gotten here, he's, you know, like he when he talks, it's one of those things where it's like, all right, like, we're not we're not doing something right, you know. When he speaks up, you know, and he went out there not only spoke in the huddles, but then came out and and did it on both ends of the floor. And I got a lot of respect for that, you know. Got a lot of respect for you know. We, it's, it's you don't know when you got opportunities coming, which game, and always staying ready. Um, like I always said, him and Isaac are the first two in the gym every day. Um, continuously getting shots up, which you saw on the corner. Continuously doing the things that you're seeing on the floor. Um, and it's great to see that hard work come to fruition, you know, come in these situations uh, because we're going to need them. You know, we're going to need them and, you know, figuring things out. And there's still growth, we're still learning things and, you know, to figure it out in this way and continue to do what he's been doing, man, especially in that moment of the game. That uh, was huge. And for you, I know you're obviously doing with the finger, but yeah. do you, where do you find the way to just, just will you guys to a win? Do you, like, like a mental yeah, switch you from know, you? Well, it's just... Okay. I work like you know work so hard you know what I mean for these moments and these opportunities and you know I didn't really make a shot in the second half but you know just trying to find ways to you know make winning plays defensively offensively um, and however that is you know just kind of finding ways to win the game doesn't really matter how you go about it just win the game at the end of the day um, you know we, we couldn't really afford to lose this one I don't know what the standings are exactly but I know we're like a game or two games whatever it may be uh, so this was important you know this was huge and you know they were up the whole game you know getting whatever they wanted we just kind of as, as a group we needed that spark and Mark came in and gave us one and I just wanted to find ways to do it myself as well and you know let it led to a win Top. Top AP. Omar, you completely changed the game when you came in. Was that your mindset when you walked on the floor? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just felt like, uh, you know, I, I could help, you know, with the little energy boost. Um, and, you know, and just try to, f I was just trying to find a way to impact the game however I could and uh, just take the opportunities that came in front of me. You had eight rebounds. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And Donovan, if I could follow up that, um, the coach said before that because of what he did, you guys, he felt like you guys didn't want to let him down mm -hmm. because the way he was playing. Did it feel that way? Yeah, 100%. Like I said, he, when Mar speaks, you listen, you know, and that's, that's something that, you know, you earn, you know what I mean? I've only been here a few months, but you can tell, like, as a locker room, as a group of guys, we, we, we trust in him and his voice and his leadership. And then not only did he do it by voice, but by example, when he's out there competing, fighting, you know, screaming, getting buckets, and also getting stops, you got to be out there and doing the same thing. You don't want to let Mar down. <clears throat> and, you know, that's what he provides for us. You know, he's, he's always been that way. Um, and it's great to see, like I said, just a lot of his hard work starting to come out and starting for everybody to see. You know, I think last year he, you know, played really well, you know, from just looking from the outside. Um, and now to see him really playing well in, in these high-pressure games, high-intensity games and meaningful games, it's, 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 uh, it's impressive. Chris, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Donovan, did Grant tell you he was going to make a goal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. Nah. No, nah, we have a, a PA call on Thursday, I think it is a Friday, so I was just like, let's just miss one and talk about it <laughs> and see what happens. And um, he gave us both, and I almost lost us the game. I didn't box out Marcus Smart, and he came in for the tip. So that's what I'm really thinking about at that moment. Miss both free throws, but I got to be able to box out in those moments and not really think about, you know, that and kind of anticipating both. But thank God he missed, and we got the win. And then, Lamar, for you, you, you've been through it. You've been in the starting lineup. You've come off the bench. You've been a DNP. And tonight, you didn't play in the first three quarters. Yeah. JD was talking about how you are somebody who doesn't let that affect you. Yeah. How do you not let that affect you? Uh, I think just, I think, uh, you know, just coming where I came from, you know, being undrafted, like, I don't want to, I don't take any moment for granted. And I always want to be ready uh, for any opportunity that comes my way. And, you know, from what, the team asked for me and JB asked for me. It's it's not just to come out and you know score you know big numbers. It's just to impact the game and bring that physicality and defense and just do the things that I know I can control. So you know I always just try to stay ready and you know every opportunity I get on the court I you know I just want to make the most of it and, and, and really help my team just win because I think you know that's the most important thing. As much as we talk about your defense and the rebounds that you had tonight, especially, yeah. how big for you was that corner three? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was definitely uh, big. Uh, you know, just for my guys to trust me. Um, you know, when he could have just took cares, just could have took a shot, and just to trust me coming in late in the game like that, and you know, 
to you make it. It was just a, it was a big shot, and it was just big for me, my confidence for the guys to trust me in those moments. Danny. Danny Cunningham, ESPN, Cleveland. Lamar, when you collect so many offensive rebounds, is that something that, you know, aside from showing up in the stat sheet, you can feel affect the opponent? Oh, for sure. Uh, because, you know, that's just a, a demoralizing thing, you know, and being on the other side of it, you know, it's just, it, it just hurts the team. So, uh, you know, I just try to go out and just impact the game however I can. And uh, I, f I saw my opportunities and was able to do that. And I definitely felt like, you know, it hurt a little bit for them. Donovan, what changed defensively after halftime? <clears throat> um, we turned our intensity up, you know, we make their looks tougher. And at the end of the day, they played a double overtime game, you know. So a lot of the looks they were getting, you know, starting to miss a little bit. But we just made it tougher, turned our energy up. Um, as a whole, and you know, the biggest thing for us, we got to look into this game is we shouldn't wait for a whole half to do that. You know, we got to come out and you know be ready from the jump. You know, especially against a team like this, they've lost three out of four, not including tonight, and understand that they want to continue to get back to where they were. Um, and especially you know, without their guys, Jason, Al, and Robert, you know, they, the guys who haven't been playing much get an opportunity, and those guys can go. So for us, just kind of holding guys down and continuing to make the rotations and making it tougher. AshleyBass.Cleveland.com, Donovan, that dunk you had in overtime, and it was kind of a galvanizing moment. Evan said it's kind of hard to, to regroup when you make a play like that. So I guess when, when you see that, you get the ball, and, and you're going, what's going through your mind on that play, and what did you see ultimately? Um, well, I didn't want to use my left, so <laughs> um, just got to figure out a way. I mean, you got to just go up strong. That's that's the, the biggest thing It's just trying to find ways to, to – just finished strong. Like I said, I wasn't really making a lot of shots, you know, in the second half. I was even clean ones I just was missing. So just trying to find a way to just will myself into 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 the game and into into those positions and I was kinda shocked that I got up there and dunked it, but you know, um, especially at that point in the game. Um, but you know, like I said, you just gotta be able to finish and push through. And uh, Lamar, I think from some quick research this might have been your career high in offensive rebounds <laughs> for you. What does what makes you so good at offensive rebounding and what does it do to kind of um, I guess affect the rest of your game? Uh I mean I don't I think it's just an energy and effort thing. Uh just choosing to go hard to the glass and, you know, fight through box outs to go get them and, you know, I felt like in um, in the in the fourth quarter, you know, we were, we were missing some shots, so there was definitely opportunities for us to create more possessions. So that's just what I wanted to do, and you know, I, I just go after it really hard. And <laughs> um, but I think that's what just makes it, me good at it. Jody, Jody, Kazakh, Adam, last four, uh, fourth quarter actually, you guys outscored uh, Boston sixteen four in the paint. Mm -hmm. it seems like you got you were just determined to pound them down low. Is that a yeah, you know, obviously they're missing Rob, you know, who's their star shot blocker. Um, so trying to find a way to attack, you know, and get get into the paint. And um, a lot of it is through semi-transition, you know. Um, guys are falling down, just tending to push the pace, you know, continue to push it. Because, like I said, they played last night, you know, played double overtime. So um, just continue to push and find a way to get in the paint, you know, whether it's myself, Ev, Mar. Darius, like, you know, just continuing just to get in there and, and then ultimately when they drive and they collapse, that's where you find Mar for a three. We find Darius twice um, <clears throat> or three times, excuse me, in the corner for a three. It's just making them have to react. You know, that's what they ultimately were doing to us in the first half. Um, so just trying to kind of find a way to continue to impose our will in that way. Both you guys, I mean, you're 7-0 in overtime. No NBA team is even close to that. How have you been so good in the extra session? I think at the beginning of the year, just coach made a huge emphasis on us being the most conditioned team, and um, I think that's just what we are. You know, we're, we're ready when it comes down to winning time. I think we get a little bit closer together, and um, we're able to, you know, pull out some big time wins uh, by just trusting each other and, and knowing that we're prepared for that moment. Thank you. Yeah, Don, you mentioned the conversation with Grant. In that situation, like, what are you, what are you trying to get across? That obviously, you kind of initiated. <clears throat> no, I mean, you just try to you just mess with him mentally and just see what happens, you know. Um, I have no doubt in my mind if Grant's in that position again tomorrow or the next day, he's going to make both free throws. But just trying to, you know, find a way. Like, he's, he's a great player. He's a good player. You know, just trying to find a way <clears throat> to just get in his head a little bit. You know, you've seen it on several occasions. I, I did it last year to Jalen Brunson in the playoffs. Um, saw Brown do it to, was it Gilbert? You know, way back in the Like, it happens. Guys do it. Just try to find ways to <clears throat> just create something out of, out of nothing, uh, to be honest. You're a writer at IQ, you've been Donovan. Um, do you 
joked earlier about trying to stay away from that by fan. Yeah. Um, that can't be easy, and yet you still score 40 points. Yeah. You still hit double digits in assists, and really in stretches took over a game. Is, how, is it as hard as it looks? I mean, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you can sit there and dwell on it. You know, obviously it's not the opportune time for this to happen. Um, I think a lot of it, you know what I mean, to get personal, but a lot of it for me is just the growth. I think last year I probably would have dwelled on it and probably would have been like, damn, like, you know, why now? Why is this happening? You know, thinking just like, nah, like, you know, it's part of it, you know, and finding a way to continue to, to push through and, and just find a way, you know. Um, does it hurt? Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, these guys need me and I, and I need them, you know, so just continue to find a way to push and um, just trying to be as great as I possibly can for this group. And Darius down